Lovely. <laughs> Like if I that. ever taught a health class, I would be fired within three minutes. Just <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking ketchup packet. Just yeah, literally that noise the ketchup makes. Yeah, that then that's what a period <laughs> oh sounds my like. God. Don't listen to her. Hey, you're listening to Babes and Bad Decisions podcast. We're babes. We make bad decisions, and we're here to tell you about them. My name's Elena. I'm Charlotte, and I'm Emily. And welcome to this episode of Mother Nature Fucking Hates Women. Let's What's go. that red stuff down there? <laughs> That's the name of the episode. What's that red stuff oh down my there? God. What's that red stuff that, and, down and, and, okay, there? gentlemen, before you, before you don't listen, mm-hmm. or, or anyone that doesn't have a period and isn't interested in them, yeah, these are just, just st- stick around for the first, like, 15 minutes. I promise you it's worth it, okay? This is everything that you should have learned in yes, your sex ed which class. you absolutely did not learn because they split up the boys and the girls in fifth grade they didn't for mine i learned oh, they, about that shit they did well, it in yeah, mine they don't go like in depth anyhow i'm gonna go on a really quick tangent and i, I can it. take this out but this is basically gonna be me proving to all of the gentlemen or gentle <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen identifying folk who don't want to hear about this I was talking to my boyfriend earlier this morning and mm-hmm. I was talking about the TikTok trend that's been going around where they'll talk to their younger brother or something and they'll try and convince them of some super weird... Oh, that we have to like trim our clitoris yes. every, every week? Yes. Or I saw one earlier today that was them convincing her little brother that we like can remove our nipples oh my god yeah ouch <laughs> and she was like well yeah with like breastfeeding and stuff like you have to clean them or they'll get like moldy or something <gasps> she was like you don't do that and he was like no mine don't do that and she's like yeah you didn't know that anyhow i was talking to my boyfriend and i was like oh that's kind of funny and he was saying that he was like well i think like i think it's kind of i can't remember the way that he said it but basically he was saying that like boys are being shamed for things that they were never taught for the fact that they don't know things that they were never taught and i was like i mean i guess but also like it's funny get over it (laughs) but i was like valid so i think you should know about these things one so that you don't get tricked on tiktok (laughs) yeah though and two because so many people on this fucking planet have to deal with it so you should know about it yeah So thanks for coming to my TED talk. (laughs) I love that. That actually leads directly into my first question, um, Mm -hmm. which is what everyone who doesn't have a period should stick around for. You can like jump out after this, but please don't. Yeah. But this is what you need to know. So ladies, what are some things people who don't have periods should know about periods? You crave food. Oh my gosh. (laughs) I crave the weirdest fucking shit and let me fucking crave it or I will snip your goddamn head off. Yeah. That's exactly what I would say. Correct. Um, things you should know that are important. Mm -hmm. Uh, Be moody. Yes, we're going to be moody as fuck. Mm -hmm. Don't blame us for it. We can't help it. Correct. (laughs) Second of all, yes, we're going to crave shit. Like, I personally am like chocolate first like a couple days before and first couple days i'm like i just i could eat like a whole tray of brownies i love brownies thirdly uh big one in my opinion opinion period sex is the bomb and that can be you know you may not think that but i get into that that. later absolutely um and (laughs) <laughs> also, I find that I'm way hornier on my period than not, and especially like leading Correct. up to it. That's Correct. that's so take advantage, sure. you know. Absolutely. Which reminds me, be I nice have to, to charge us. my vibrator. <laughs> Keep just that be baby nice charged. To us. Um, We're going through a rough period of the month. Just be nice. Yeah, yes. you want to fucking switch? <laughs> yeah, and so, you're gonna get mad at me. Like, let's switch. <gasps> All right. Well, to to go back to basics, some yeah. things that you should know. Is where a tampon goes and oh, where yes. a pod I goes. I was going to say where the clit is. No, well, this that's is important. important. This goes it back this into the TikTok thing. So I have... So, all right, you all need to understand. Women have two holes and one is their urethra, which is where you pee. And yeah. one is the vagina, which is where the tampon goes, which is why mm-hmm. we can pee with a tampon in. No, the tampon yeah. does not go in our buttholes. No, we do not only have one hole where we pee and bleed out of. There are two holes. Mm-hmm. So important to know. Pads, Correct. we don't One. stick them on our lady parts. We c- attach them to our underwear, underwear like a diaper. Yes. 
So if you can imagine Literally. a bloody diaper walking around all day like that, that's what that is. And yeah. just know it fucking that. sucks. <laughs> I was going to say when Ellie was on the two holes thing, I was just like, and just know that both of these holes you put your tongue on, my dudes. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, that's correct. Or you should. Or you should. That's another thing. <laughs> A woman has two holes. Be sure to touch both when going down on a woman. All right. Um, The next thing is uh, how many tampons people use in a day or in their cycle. Um, Fun fact, NASA sent Sally Ride, who was the first woman in space, um, to space with 100 tampons for a week just to be safe. (laughs) All right. She did not need even three quarters of those tampons oh God, that's so a funny. normal pack is like 28 tampons yeah and that is yeah. usually more than enough to get people yes. through a cycle even if they're pretty heavy correct i would say the bigger box gets me through two cycles yes yeah. well i get the mixed boxes same this is another thing so i see people making fun of especially like boyfriends or brothers or picking whoever. up tampons yeah and they don't know what the all of the stuff on the mm-hmm. boxes means yes so there's sizes so mm-hmm. there's super or super plus cool sometimes. Cool mint. Wait. Have you right. seen that to the bottom? bottom. <laughs> okay. So, so light. Light. Regular. Mm-hmm. Super. And then super plus. Right? Yes. I think yep. those are all of them. Yeah. And uh, the same so goes for um, pads. Except sometimes yes. it can be light, uh, regular, and heavy. Yeah. Or like maxi. Yeah. Wait. I have to. Pause. Max. I wanted to say this at the beginning of the episode. But I blanked. When you. <laughs> Today, Elena and I were in the car. And her car's name is Carol. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alina made the funniest fucking comment because we started to drive away. And Carol's an old girl now. She is. So Alina's <laughs> seatbelt like popped out and she was like, Carol! <laughs> and she's like jiggling. She has to stop the car and like jiggle it back in to hear the click. And she's like, it's like when a man's going down on a woman. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. I think I said it's when a, it's kind of like when a man tries to please a woman. Like, you got to get the sweet spot. <laughs> We're sitting, like, in a fucking parking lot, and this girl's jiggling the shit out of her seatbelt. She's like, the first thing that comes to mind is, you know, this is exactly like when a it man is. is trying to please a woman. <laughs> and Ouch. they just can't get it. Because you can't just, like, jam it in there. You got to, like, you got to, you know. You got to ease it in. So, you basically, know? you were fingering your spot. car today. Yeah. I bet Carol. Okay, it. I had to tell that that was on my mind. I had to get that okay. out. Sorry, Megan. So and light, regular, right. yeah. so, super, super plus. So for me, I always get the the regular and super like, mixed boxes. Of oh, tampons. I get the light and regular mixed boxes. So I usually use the supers like first two days, mm-hmm. I guess, and then for the rest of it, I can usually use the regular. I used to get the super regular and light boxes, but I don't know that they make those anymore. I haven't seen them. Oh, I yeah. just get the super. That's all I get. <laughs> just Sucks super. Um, it, and, it does. And talk, <laughs> it to does. Your, talk to your significant other. If if they ask you to go get it, just say, because sometimes they'll have a brand preference or like yeah. there's like applicators and stuff. Like you don't need to know all of that until you get asked to pick them up and then just say, like what brand and what size and right. they will or you gladly could tell fuck you them that over and be like the green mint ones <laughs> ew could you imagine mint you've tampons? never seen that tiktok where she's like mm-hmm. oh yeah i want the green mint ones mm-hmm. and he asked this lady and he's like she said something about mint and this woman's yep. like uh i think she means just the green yep. super ones and <laughs> it was very funny uh, Ooh, funny no thanks yeah. also my roommate brought up a good point um in case you were wondering it doesn't feel like sex when we insert a tampon. Oh it my doesn't. god, no! Because she was like, she brought that up to me today, Imagine if it did. and I was like, oh god. <laughs> I mean, we're already super <laughs> horny. Can on shove our tampons periods. up there all day long, baby. Oh my oh god. <laughs> Period or not? <laughs> no, that's just wasteful. Yeah. All right, and then more into side effects. So we went into that a little bit early about PMSing. It's real. It's not fake. We yeah. get moody extra sensitive like physically extra sensitive which yes. helps with the horniness yes um cramps can be really bad and genuinely debilitating like i've heard so many stories of women who just thought they had really bad period cramps but it ended up being like pancreatitis appendicitis you know really serious things and yep. they just thought it was period cramps so take that shit seriously get yeah. your girl or your partner a heating pad some snackies and a good old movie. Yep. 
or like give them a back massage oh dude so my back hurts just a lot in general in general <laughs> yeah but uh especially during my period it's and right so before achy. my back gets so achy um so yeah give them a fucking back massage absolutely <laughs> so all right for your information fyi there are multiple different kinds of menstrual items yeah so there's you know tampons there's pads there's uh cups like diva cups mm-hmm. um which essentially you pinch and then insert like a tampon for those of you that were curious um, it's not for everybody, but it's just more environmentally friendly and you won't have to go pick that up at the store for your significant other. They no. probably just have theirs. <laughs> yes. Um, There's also these new things I keep seeing called like, f- it's called flex. Yeah. It's the and same it's like, like cup. A, yeah. Thing. It's like the little ring, but it's got like a, yeah, I guess like a flexible. Yeah. It's, it's like a little thingy. cup. It, it's like a shallower cup, but it's yeah. wider instead of like. The yeah. other cup. And apparently it's, you can like have sex with it in or something. Oh, yeah. I guess that's one of the selling points. Have but. you ever sent your mans to get you fucking tampons? Yes. Yes. And my dad. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> yeah. My dad. No. Never. But I Dude, usually. Dude, if you need that shit. Like my main ex used to keep a box of tampons at his place, which was like so amazing. Oh, yes. I loved it. Um, And if you're still curious about it, talk to your friends who have periods mm-hmm. because they are, I feel like most, at least women or like people that are raised as girls throughout their childhood are so open about it yeah i talk to my friends about everything about my period and you're about to hear all of it um (laughs) but yes and my final note which we talked about a little bit is most people get way hornier on their periods oh yeah and you're you stop bleeding when you get turned on for the most part. Mm -hmm. So lay down a towel, really turn your person on Mm -hmm. and like have sex. And then like when you're done, they can just go to the bathroom and like plug it up or like put on some underwear and a pad. Like Mm -hmm. it's not that complicated. Oh yeah. Shower sex is a good alternative. And like just if they're not down for it, don't, but if they, you know, it's just, everything's more sensitive and it feels great. And don't yeah. be afraid to eat them out while they're on their period. I promise you, you'll be just yeah. fine. Don't be and that they bitch go who doesn't eat yeah. a woman out if they're on their period. Just like, if you're with them in a relationship or you've right. been hooking up for a long time, like, just fucking do it. Yeah. Like, if I can suck your dick after it's been in my vagina, you can eat me out while I'm fucking bleeding down yeah. there. Correct. Like, we'll, we'll get through it. And, yes. and I want to preface and say this because... In my current relationship, when we first started hooking up, even before we were dating, mm-hmm. he was a little unsure about the period sex thing, and we did it once while in the shower because that's where he felt comfortable doing yeah. it. Uh, but once we were in a relationship, we kind of start. He was open to trying it, and so yeah. we did. And he was like, "I don't know why I haven't been doing this <laughs> forever." forever. <laughs> He's yeah. like, it, "I." He was like, for some reason in my head, I thought it was going to be so messy, like, su- such a bigger thing than it is. Like I, me personally, like we don't even have to put down a towel as long as I'm like, not just like walking around free bleeding for like 30 minutes before, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> just if you, if you feel uncomfortable, definitely put down a towel. It doesn't Right. Hurt. But I feel like guys or people with penises like have this image in their head of having period sex and they just think there's gonna be just blood everywhere it's kind of like a crime scene <laughs> and like there's the f- the joke of like going down on someone on their period and ha- you know coming back up and having like blood all over your mouth and stuff like no, that doesn't happen. that is not how it happens <laughs> i promise you look you. like a vampire when you come <laughs> like it's not and honestly, it, you probably won't even Twilight, notice it they'll love it Right. Like you really, really probably won't even notice it. And now you don't have to go an entire week of your life without having sex with your partner just because you're afraid of a little bit of blood on your dick. Yeah. And and it's <laughs> always like try what you're comfortable with, but like don't be afraid to try it because you think it's going to be messy and like so much to deal with because it really won't be. Yeah. And it'll feel really good for, for it's both the best. of you. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, those are all of like the main points I wanted to hit for people who don't have periods Mm -hmm. um and then we can get into like the main meat and potatoes of this um (laughs) episode yeah do you guys have any final words of wisdom to add before like our 27 percent of listeners who are male uh check out (laughs) yeah uh don't make a woman feel bad about being on their period yes fucking fucking leave before you say anything correct 
Because God knows if I'm on my period, you know I'm my bitch ass is going to fight your ass <laughs> and get out of the door. Yep. Yeah, don't insult someone on their period because they will hurt you. Yep. Yeah, if somebody's like... Also, another thing, and I f- this is very niche, but if someone's on their period and they're, like, not swimming or something, like, don't fucking throw them in the pool. That's rude. True. I feel like there's, especially growing up, there's a lot of shame surrounding it, and like, I think we that's don't, dumb. We don't shame you guys when you can't finish, so don't <laughs> shame us for bleeding. Uh, we don't shame you when you can't make us finish. There you go. Hold on, because men always finish. Fuck them. Even though we can't help the period thing, but you no, can totally help. Not that. all men finish when they get stupidly drunk. Sometimes yeah, well, it really yeah, doesn't happen. Yeah, most of the time happen. they can't get it up at that point. Mm-hmm, that's Fucking true. Whiskey dick. I don't shame you for that shit. Here you go. All right, so now into the main part. So let's start with the beginning. When did you first get your period, and how did it happen? I got my period in like seventh or eighth grade, mm-hmm. and I was over at a friend's house after school. And I went to the bathroom and I was like, fuck, I'm on my period. Started my period. And we were about to go to another person's house and like have a pool party. Like they were having a pool party. And I was like, well, this fucking sucks. Ouch. <laughs> not only can I no longer swim because no one had tampons and like I was not ready to stick a tampon up my vagina. Um, but also now I have to be like weird in like seventh and eighth grade when you're at a pool party you're not just gonna tell all of the guys they're like oh i'm not swimming because i'm fucking bleeding out of my vagina oh yeah oh my god you're like, so ostracized it's we- yeah you're you like so weird so about many- it yeah i can't i don't want to get my hair wet right now or right <laughs> i just don't feel good like all those bullshit excuses right so that's what i did i took my ass to that pool party and i didn't swim and i feel like that's why i brought it up earlier because the guys were like threatening to throw me in and i was like if you fucking touch me <laughs> my pants will swell up um like a have full you ever diaper. been in a pool with a hat on though no it's so funny oh my god <laughs> oh i did one that time terrifying it didn't happen to me it happened to my friend my friend was thrown in just like you were saying yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> she forgot that she had a pad oh yes and um they're like these like little white flakes start oh, floating no. to the top of the water around the her. Cotton. No. <laughs> like me and my friend were like, oh my god, like <laughs> splash, <laughs> like splash party. Oh, let's go. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh god, it was so funny. Oh yeah. So yeah, that was that was it. It wasn't a super big deal, but it was a little annoying the timing of it all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I jumped in on accident. I forgot I had my pad on, and yeah. it filled immediately. It was one of those giant ones, and I had to like waddle out of the pool and it was like oh. pulling my bottoms down and <laughs> yep <laughs> luckily i was just at home but i was like wow i'm never doing that again yeah that sounds pretty terrible oh yeah all right char how'd you become a woman i got my period the summer going into ninth grade damn woke up one day went to the bathroom blood y'all had and it then from late. there it's it, it's it's history that's so boring i like hear these period stories and they like they're like, oh yeah, I like freaked out and I called my mom and I was like sitting on the <laughs> toilet and I was like, I called my mom and I was like, mom, where are the pads or tampons? Yeah. And she goes like, did you get your period? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, mom, let's not fucking talk about it right now. Yeah. Well, I also feel like for us, like by eighth and ninth grade, it's kind of, it's like not as much of a thing. I'm thankful though it happened in my house because I have heard horror stories where you're like at school, oh, your I parents both work. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was kind of lucky because I was at my friend's house and like, yeah, it wasn't my house, but I was still in the bathroom and I was able to be like, hey, does anyone have like a pad or tampon? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It well, was chill. it was February of my sixth grade year. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you remember that? Yes, I do because. <laughs> month? So I was in first period and I was like, my stomach kind of hurts like, and I had been prepping to get my period since I was like nine years old. Right. So I was like, my stomach kind of hurts. And I went to the bathroom in between first and second and I looked down and my underwear is like red. Yeah. It's like, fuck. And so I, I didn't know what to do. I stuffed so much toilet paper down there and I texted Mm -hmm. my mom and I said, I just got my period. But it was back in the time when people had signatures on their text messages and mine was live, laugh, love. And so my mom <laughs> thought I was laughing about getting my period. Oh, no. But so I text her that. It's right before second period. I go to second period. Like between every class, I'm just stuffing like new toilet paper in my pants. Yep. I bled through my jeans. Oh. And I'm sitting in like fifth or sixth period. And I get a call. They're like, 
oh, like, Emily, the, like, go to the nurse's office. I was like, okay. And she gives me the fucking thinnest liner (laughs) I've ever seen in my goddamn life. I was like, you know, you see the giant red stain between my legs currently through my jeans? The fuck is this this gonna do? This bad boy's gonna help great. And apparently my mom had left her phone in the car and went to get it at lunch, saw my text, and then called my school's nurse. Oh, my goodness. And, yeah, it was... It sucked, and your I. Your school nurse was better than mine. I'd no. be like, my stomach hurts. Here's a band aid. <laughs> no, she like, but she just gave me this liner, and I was like, you don't have any real pads lying around. Yeah. Like, come on. Um, but yeah, that sucked. The and good I had, stuff. I had terrible cramps, and I um wanted to die, but I don't yeah. think anybody knew besides all the friends I told. Right. Yeah, that's a little more terrifying. That's a little more traumatic. Mm-hmm. Do you remember um like what? it felt like physically when you first got it and like how you reacted were you freaked out or were you calm about it um I was a little nervous mostly just because I wasn't at home like I was gonna have to tell all the people that was I was with and Mm -hmm. again the pool party thing but I think like I was saying earlier because I got it a little bit on the later side I was kind of expecting it you know what I mean yeah it wasn't it wasn't something I hadn't thought in, about enough before, and enough of my friends weren't already dealing with it, where it was super taboo. Yeah. There was this girl in elementary school. We were in fifth grade, and she got her period in fifth grade. Oh, I had a friend that got hers in fourth grade. That sounds terrible. I would be like, <laughs> I have to go through extra years of this bullshit? Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. <laughs> but then my sister had a friend growing up and she was like the tiniest little thing. Yeah. And she didn't get her period until like sophomore year of high school. Yeah. Yeah, a and lot of like tiny people and athletes and such don't yeah. get it till really late. Um, Shar, you still awake over there? No, I'm I was pretty chill. I don't know why. Like not a lot of my friends had it. I was just Okay. Blood's coming out. Yeah, mom. Well, that's good. Where are they at? <laughs> Where they at? Health Where class at? prepared me for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Were you guys? Did you guys have any like cramps or pains or anything? Or I, nope. No, I don't remember any oh, other wood. like physical things. I still don't have cramps or I mean, oh, I do. Gone wood. Fuck now that you. I said that, <laughs> I have. I literally have nothing. I just, I just get emo. That's it. That's how I know mm. it's coming. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> no, I have really bad cramps. Same. Um. Yeah, I was just more upset because I didn't have anything and i saw this thing and it, it's called a go bag <clears throat> and i'm gonna do this for my kids one mm-hmm. day but you put like an extra pair of underwear a pad um and an extra pair of shorts and like some candy in a bag and then That's they cute. keep it in their backpack with them so that mm-hmm. if it happens like they always have that backup that's cute and i'm like if i had only had that my life would be would so it be different. so much easier <laughs> but i didn't so now i yeah. i vow that that my children will never go through what I went through. Yeah. Um, Thinking ahead. Oh, yeah. So let's talk about, let's talk about flow a little bit. <laughs> All right. Auntie Flo. What, what? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What are you guys talking about? Flow. Yeah, like, the flow. Like the Yeah, heaviness. so I was right when I said juices. Correct. It was just yeah. gross. Oh, okay. <laughs> Elena looked at me like I was speaking another language. That and was, I was such like, a wait, weird I way I thought to I was on it. your vibe. Oh, yeah. Juices. It's how, blood. How let's get it? the juices flowing. Oh, my God. You're disgusting. <laughs> So how was it when it started and how are you now? Uh, so I don't remember much about my very first period, but I know early on my period was a little bit of a bitch mm-hmm. and she was super irregular. And when she would come, she would, like I said, be a huge bitch and I would bleed qu- like quite a lot. Terrible cramps, just t- t- uh, not fun. Yeah, not um, fun. And then shortly after I got on birth control partially for period reasons but also partially because i was sexually active um and that helped a lot and i've been on it ever since i've noticed the past couple years mostly in the past year actually my period's starting to get a little worse than it has been so i don't know what that's about but maybe you should stop that yeah that's kind of what i'm thinking about but yeah that's kind of how it's been i i've never been like super super heavy but i I mean, I bleed for five or six days. First three are real bad. And then mm-hmm. after that, it's like a slow fade out. Sure, sure. Oh, yes. Me. Yes. yes. So the first day is a nice river. 
like a Love waterfall. It. Like a rapid the first day is the waterfall. Situation. Like a Niagara Falls. Uh, yeah, situation. no, it's like a fucking kahuna. I get like that. going over in a bucket. <laughs> I get that. Tsunami, that shit. Uh-huh. Johnny Tsunami. <laughs> and then uh, the second day, nice creek. Okay. A crick. A crick. <laughs> And then uh, three, three to five, three to five slash six, depending on the week. Um, it's a nice trinkle. Okay. Like, you know, if you a left trinkle. a if trinkle, you left a, that <laughs> a nice trinkle. T-R-I-N-K-L-E. Yes. Trinkle. Trinkle. I know. Trinkle. Did I stutter, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you left the faucet on. Right. Just a, a slow drip. A nice, <laughs> nice one I line. Mean, drinkle. A drinkle. Anyway, yeah, no, uh, Petunia's, she's good. Petunia? I just, I just named her. Did you name your period or your vagina? (laughs) I was feeling like a Gwen. Is that your period or vagina? You still (laughs) haven't answered my question. (laughs) I haven't, um, named my vagina yet. I felt like my period needed a name. Like, she's been good to me all these years. So is it Gwen or Petunia? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Dual personality. Think on it. (laughs) We'll see you guys back yeah, next week, know. and let I'll let know. you know. <laughs> um, yeah, when it when mine first started, it was like heavy, heavy, heavy for seven uh-huh. or eight days. Yeah, and I would holy get like, shit. Yeah, and I would get terrible cramps. Like the first day or two, it would take me out. Like I would be keeled over. Like I didn't go to school um, mm-hmm. for like mo- many periods. Um, mm-hmm. And then I started birth control, and ever since then, it's kind of lightened up. Like now it's very light like a couple days like sometimes i'll skip periods like not yeah. on purpose they just don't come right and that's always fun because i'm like am i pregnant and then i'm like no it's fine <laughs> but <laughs> not today um, satan not today <laughs> um but yeah luckily birth control worked really well for me and they were always really regular it was yeah. like i remember it was like 38 days i had that period tracker app that everyone oh, that's had so nice i know so it was like within a couple days like it would always start on time which was really nice but now it's like literally every 28 days yeah no i used to go literal months between periods that's and that was so annoying especially when i first started having sex and Mm -hmm. i was not on birth control and i just was just using condoms paranoid because then i would just go months without a period and i'd be like am i pregnant who the fuck knows (laughs) (laughs) oh yeah all right real talk pads tampons or cup um i'm a big tampons person i actually started using tampons pretty soon after i like i didn't use pads very long um but i'm really interested in the cup i really mm-hmm. want to try it Do your like research, i would save get back to us. so much money and it's better for the environment and like if you can figure it out and get it to work it just seems so much easier because i know you can leave them for a longer period of time Mm -hmm. without having to like switch them out i don't know i i really have been wanting to i just need to i need to do it do it and then come back to us let us know okay i'm a tampons till i die i mean like i hate pads uh, well i i was a lifeguard for like five plus years now so pads just were never in my schedule whatsoever yeah Yeah. Mm mm-hmm I'm also not a huge fan of pads. Also, but. it just feels like I have a fucking wedgie all the damn time. Like, I don't get how people, like, find that comfortable. I also hate feeling when it's leaving my body. That's, yeah. like, you're actually... Stop right after that. They're going to just say, I hate feeling. Feeling. <laughs> I mean, I do. But, like, yes. specifically when I feel what's coming out of my body. I'm I like, agree oh, with that. God. It's leaving your body. <laughs> I agree with that. I hate, like, feeling the drop. It's such a specific feeling. I hate it. Honestly. I'm with you. I'm not a huge fan of pads. The other thing is pretty early on, I like I've been a thong wearer for a really Mm. long time. (laughs) Yes. Like I have worn almost exclusively thongs for so many years. Oh, yeah. Um, And of course, I have a couple pairs of like, you know, cheekies or like my period underwear. Oh, yes. Classic. But granny panties. But I from, like, I just don't grade. I don't want to get those like thong liner pad thingies and oh, you I can't really have no you can't really have a pad with a thong like a real pad so I've just I've been strictly tampons for a very long time. Do you sleep in them? I do. Yeah. Ugh. Fuck yeah. But I don't. I am very rarely like sleeping for long enough where it's like concerning. You know. Yeah. I I think I switched over to tampons in like late middle school because Mm -hmm. i i started wearing thongs like every day yeah and i and i still wear tampons now but like 
half the time I don't have a like it's basically spotting so I'll right. wear one of those thong liners and like yeah. just go about my day yeah um and then I always sleep in like a pad or a liner or something because I yeah. hate sleeping in tampons and yeah. my sleep schedule is so weird so I could sleep for like 12 hours and I would rather not get toxic shock syndrome yes so, another thing like in the past year I've switched pretty exclusively to the like organic cotton yeah, tampons same. which sounds so bougie but but it's you can good. find cheaper versions at like oh, yeah, usually I got mine the at like Target no they're cheaper than Walgreens. Walgreens. Yeah, like the as long as you're not getting the like super bougie brands, you can they're pretty good. They're but I feel always. I feel way better about having the organic cotton. For those that don't know because I feel like most people, especially people who don't have periods, they're not required to tell you what is in a tampon. You sound like an ad right now. Um, <laughs> I've heard well, this ad before. So they're not required to tell you. And a lot of times there's like they bleach the um, the stuff and there's the dyes cotton, yeah. and all sorts and of chemicals. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that just that shit cannot be good for you. Nah, so. bitch. I'm a Tampex, Tampex scented super oh god no disgusting Absolutely. You're gonna i've literally never up. used scented tampons Ugh. in my life i've never and now used scented hell. anything tampons yeah. or pads or liners none of it and now i'm strictly an organic cotton girl oh yeah. i love the soon to be ones. cup girl soon to be cup girl it smell like fucking plastic no it doesn't smell like plus it doesn't smell like anything cotton. it's just cotton no, no no i'm saying i'm saying like uh tampax ver- scented versus oh the scented versus no. unscented gotcha, oh. gotcha, gotcha. Well, yeah, my sister uses a cup and, like, genuinely loves it because it's, yeah. um, for those that don't know, toxic shock syndrome is um, a result of wearing a tampon for too long and it can mm-hmm. cause you to get really sick and, like, even die from it. Yeah. Um, and with a cup, there's, you there's like, I think a 2% chance of getting toxic shock, shock syndrome or a 0% chance. I know it's yeah. super low, if not nothing. Yeah. And um, you can use it for years before buying a new one. You just mm-hmm. like rinse it out and can put it back in. Yeah. Um, so it's crazy. I just, it's super intimidating. Yes. Cause I've I been agree. <laughs> using tampons for like 10 years. And yeah. I know it's better in so many ways, but I'm just, if you, when you make the leap, I will ask you questions and then I will probably make the leap. Okay. I've done a decent amount of research and what I've come to is that they're amazing. It's just the learning curve Mm -hmm. because there's different kinds, but also there's like different folds because you have to like fold it up to to put it in. And there's different styles of folds that work better for different people because Mm -hmm. if you put it in and you don't get the suction quite right, then it can leak. Mm -hmm. And pretty much everyone that I know who's, who uses it or has used it says that the first period or maybe even two you're probably not going to be very good at it yeah (laughs) um and so like expect to leak a little bit um but the more you do it like you'll get the hang of it and once you have it you like it'll be cake because I hate the feeling of because I was on my period when I was in Florida and like in the ocean and in the pool and stuff Mm -hmm. and I just hate pulling out a tampon and seeing that it's filled with water yep I'm like this is not like this pool water this ocean water has been like sitting inside of me like yeah that's so gross yep yeah so i don't know i really i really want to try it i just have to get to the point where i'm like okay for the next couple periods i'll probably leak a little bit and i just have to be okay with that and also (laughs) i want to use the rest of my tampons before i buy a cup because i don't want to be wasteful all right on to the fun parts the symptoms (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the side effects of periods. So, like, for me, cramps was my main jam Uh, growing up. I wanted to die, and it felt like someone was trying to kill me. Um, And then, all right, so talk about, like, your symptoms leading up to it and then during your period. Uh, Obviously, mood swings. Yes, leading up to it, I get super, I get irritable, Mm. mostly, (laughs) Like, yes, I get a little bit sad, but I'm mostly, like, if things just start pissing me off that don't normally, or I'm just a little bit, like, shorter in my responses to things, I'm like, "Ah, fuck, my period's coming. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm also, I'm on birth control, so I know when it's coming anyway, but, so definitely more irritable. Um, My back will start hurting the day before I usually get crampy. 
Um, and I get really tired. I notice on my mm. period, I'm like way more fatigued than normal. Yeah. I would say I don't have a lot of symptoms, knock on wood, but I know my period's coming when I start getting like emotional over the dumbest things. Yeah. Like I don't show emotions, but I was literally crying at the show that yeah. we watched today, which yeah. is fucking pathetic. <laughs> Good. Good. Um, and then I just crave like I'll have salt days and then sweet days. Mm-hmm. And basically, I just, like, alternate those, and I know that it's coming when I start getting those cravings again. Yep. Um, And definitely moody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like a fucking roller coaster. I become yeah. that SpongeBob, SpongeBob character. Which one? Chocolate! <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Uh, yeah, I do the whole cramps, the whole moodiness, irritability. Um, I've been bloating a lot recently oh yes and i'm me like too. why Fuck, i've never I been bloating so bad. before ever but yeah. like my last period i was like why do i look like a balloon it was yeah. terrible i will literally look like like 11 weeks pregnant or something <laughs> yeah and my sister used to get these terrible migraines and i just can't imagine and terrible cramps so i can't yeah. imagine going through both yeah that sounds um, terrible but then with the cravings thing it mainly happens like while I'm on my period and not so much before. Yeah. But I kind of treat myself like a pregnant lady. Yeah. Like I'm going to eat whatever the fuck I want because I'm on my period and I deserve it. It's pretty like, much like I, <laughs> Diet I know who? that when I get pregnant, the f- like when I have my first kid, I'm going to just eat so much because like that's my excuse. And I'm probably going to gain so much more weight than I need to to like healthily have a child. But I'm just going to be like, I'm pregnant, fuckers. Like, I'll eat what I want. <laughs> and now that we have our explained our lovely symptoms, um, <laughs> what do you find helps, though, during your period and, like, before to kind of cure the symptoms or help them? Uh, Excedrin or ibuprofen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, heating pad. Heating pad for sure, especially on the, the periods that are really bad with the cramps. Oh, yeah. Um. Like I said earlier, back massages. Like my boyfriend's very kind Being and he gives me lots of massages. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean that's really about it. And then like like you said, kind of indulging myself. And yeah. Not being too hard on myself. You want to know something super annoying? Sure. You want to know something that helps like period cramps and aches? Exercising. Like, yeah, exercising. I know it sucks. <laughs> also, sex. Yes, sex helps headaches in general. Orgasm well, helps sex headaches. exercising, the question. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, best of both worlds. <laughs> Correct. Um, and one, one symptom I didn't talk about, but like I feel like we need to address is the period poop. Oh my gosh. It is. Yeah, this is like one of those things that no one really talks about. Yeah. And it, the reason, because every, every person that has a period knows what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But the reason they are the way they are is because your uterus is, like, contracting, Mm -hmm. trying to expel your uterine lining, which is your period. Mm -hmm. And um, it affects all, like, your sphincter and everything. So that's why period poops are the way that they are. They suck. And I don't even know how to describe it to someone who hasn't experienced it. But, like, it's just, they're notable. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like if you're, like, if you ate something that's kind of weird or, like, you're a little bit constipated. Yeah. Or, or it just comes yeah. out too quickly. <laughs> right. It's like if you basically just if you've eaten something that either makes you constipated or just like makes you like have a little bit of diarrhea. I don't know. It's not even If diarrhea, your tummy's a little like, bit upset. Yeah. <laughs> it's That's kind of how it is. It's such a crazy thing that you can bring it up to anybody that has a period and they're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Also, I feel like personally. I literally don't know what you're talking about. You a don't period have period poop? poops? You're so weird. All right, when you start your period, pay attention to your poops, and you'll know. I think I have. Is you it like suck. Diarrhea? Well, mon- no. no, no. All right, well, it's just I'll like mo- I'll monitor next time. <laughs> yes, let us know how it goes. Monitor, monit. I said monitor. Monitor. Oh, monit- okay, I'll monitor next I'm, time. I'm on it. Another thing I feel like um, that's really annoying mm-hmm. is if I have a tampon in and I'm like. I have to poop or something, but, um, it's just like, I feel like it's weird with a tampon like, cause because you're, kind you're of pushing like, it out. yeah. So it's like, I don't know. Cause you're it's pushing like, y'all think down way there. too much into it. No, no I'm not I like thinking like, into it. That's how it feels. Yeah. Cause I always feel like I have to change it cause it doesn't sit the same. Right. It like comes out just a little bit. Yeah. 
And then you're like, well, fuck. Now I, the worst is when you like put in a tampon and then like an hour later you really have to poop and you're like, fuck. Well, now I just wasted this tampon. Do you ever try to like it's only shove been it in there in? like an hour? Huh? You know. Do you ever try to like shove it back up? Yeah. Well, because like I'm not saying it comes out like half the way. No, no, no. no. It just comes out like Enough. a tiny little Enough bit. Enough to be annoying. And you're like, well, fuck. And so yeah, sometimes I'm like, get back in there. <laughs> Scoot hey, your way back up. We there. need to like. I I think it's we need to talk about things that people don't talk about because like I, yes everyone goes through this like yeah. it's important that people know they're not alone. Um, all right now, PMSing it's real. Yes, it sucks. Yes. How, How many times are you gonna say that in this episode? I don't know. <laughs> it's real. It's real. <laughs> it sucks. Maybe I, it's Maybelline. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's PMSing. <laughs> um. So, how do y'all's moods change? Uh, do they change during or before periods? And do they change Durin. during or before? Uh, during. Yeah. Both. Yeah. So, like I said, how does it I change? Get, I'll get more irritable. Um, I give less fucks in general because <laughs> I'm more irritable. I am also, like you said, more prone to crying at things. Mm-hmm. Um, and, again, I get more horny and I also feel like I get way more affectionate. Oh, yeah. In well, general. you have not shown that to me. <laughs> because you can't satisfy you her sexually. Too? Horny or affectionate? <laughs> I've never seen those two. All right. Get ready. Like, Couple this weeks. Get her period and, like, come into my room <laughs> and be like, <laughs> I heard you were act- asking for some action. <laughs> hey, you oh can't be afraid goodness. of period sex, Char. Just dive into it. Oh, there you go. No, I've done it. I just, like, don't love it. <laughs> Why not? Like, I wouldn't not do it. Like, if I was on my period and he right. was like, let's have sex, I'd be like, okay, get a towel. Like, right. okay. Yeah, I'm not, like, right. going into periods being like, I can't wait to have period sex. It's just, well, also, I'm, like, one of those people who, like, after you have sex and, like, it's good sex, you kind of just want to, like, sit in it. Like, I lay there that. and, no, like, I roll get up over. and, like, go pee and then I'll no. put my underwear back I mean, on. like, obviously I pee and me stuff, too. but, like, I, I give me, me, myself, and I just, you know, a minute or two to be like, ugh. Yeah, that was good. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I can't do that with a fucking towel on my vagina and knowing that, like, in a second or two, I could fucking just squirt out red shit. Oh, my gosh, Charlotte. That's not how that works. (laughs) Squirt out? And also, the towel is not in your vagina. It's laying on the bed. When has blood ever (laughs) squirted out of your vagina? The first day, bitch. No. When I said tsunami, bitch, I meant tsunami. It squirt. Yeah, there's a difference. No, it's like a... (laughs) No. Jesus lovely <laughs> Fuck if i ever that. taught a health class i would be fired within three minutes just <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking ketchup packet just <laughs> yeah literally, literally that noise the ketchup makes yeah that then that's what a period oh sounds my like god. don't listen to her love it oh my god um mood swings yes while i'm on my period i'm on my period um I get waves of tiredness uh, because, yeah. like, I'm a person who's always running around. So, like, one, like, I'll lose motivation to get up. I'll just be like, oh, I feel like shit, and that now fatigue, I'm gonna, and, and then I'm just gonna eat shit. Yeah. So I'm like, it's not gonna make it better. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I would say I basically become like a loaf of bread, <laughs> and I just sit there. And if someone annoys me, like, I'm gonna snap. Right. Oh, just yeah. waiting. You're yeah. just sitting there. That's why I have the eating crust. snacks. I have the crust. Waiting. So, like, if it's anyone like Sandy fucking cheeks comes when at someone me. wakes her up, like, when yeah. she's hibernating. Literally. How about you, Em? Well, bleeding up to it, I'm super irritable. I'm bleeding like- up to it. <laughs> oh, God. Leading up to it. I am super irritable, and I'm like, if you look at me the wrong way, I will punch you and then cry immediately. Yep. And then I, in the first day, I always just feel really gross, and that's when my cravings hit the hardest. Like, I feel, like, bloated and crampy and, like, bleh. Mm -hmm. And, but then, like, once I get into it, I just... I'm like super horny. I feel like really good. I'm super affectionate. Like, yep. Because that's the hormones kicking in, being like, make babies. And then I <laughs> give them the opposite of that. I can relate to that. Um, and then, like, I was talking to my roommate, and she said, she, she, and I've noticed this. She gets super emo. And yeah. she's like, I'm just going to drive around and listen to sad music. And I'm like, all right, girl, do your thing. And then, and then she, in, into it, she gets like super happy days where she's like, 
in a, like a super good mood, like all around really, you know, f- extra fun to be around. But yeah. where the day before she was like crying in her car, driving aimlessly, listening to right. like um, how to save a life by the fray, yep. you know? Yep. One thing I do remember, though, when I'm on my period and uh, I was in a relationship, I don't know why, but ever, like I feel like when you're spending a lot of time with that person and then you're on the, your period, just things that they would normally say fucking send you that's like, what i'm saying either I'm just, like, if irritable. it's like <laughs> even if it's like let's have sex babe i'm like bro <laughs> like shit let's fucking go <laughs> but if he's like you really want to eat that bitch you really yeah. want to <laughs> like the fuck yeah. the, you want to try that again you wanna, yeah let's try this again <laughs> like yeah and one more fun fact um people with periods if you spend enough time with another person that has a period you'll sync up with them and one of them is the alpha and what their period is the one that doesn't change and everyone around them changes their period to match the alpha and i, I haven't changed the fucking alpha in our I friend group that. because elena's period matched up to mine in our friend group and my period didn't change hence the period tracker app and i was the fucking alpha well wait i don't when was this because i i in high school like, and then when oh, we lived maybe. together we were like a week apart but it's because we were okay. both on birth control because i was gonna say i was like I've been, i'm on birth control so i don't know that it's changed much although there were a couple times where i purposely like missed my period yeah. a week so that may have huh, also why because we were because i like was going swimming or i was going somewhere tropical there's or... called a tampon yeah but like i don't, don't want to have to judge her deal with that <laughs> Don't like yes, her. I just want her to be yes, like, yeah, because I wanted swim. fucking good sex, bitch. No, it really wasn't because of that. Yes, you can swim with your tampon in, but like, it's still super fucking like, you annoying. You have to get up and you have to go change yeah. it. You have to like, and like, my bathing suit bottoms are tiny, so like, I'm a little paranoid about the string popping out. Oh god. Oh my god. Maybe so- just get bigger bottoms. No, <laughs> my ass is too good for that. I was at the pool with my more recent ex and. We're just laying out. It's this apartment complex pool. It's super packed. And I'm laying down and he like walks up to the chair and he goes, uh, your, um, uh, <laughs> string thing is hanging out. And I was like, fuck. And so I, I, how do you, I have had to do this so many times. I'm so paranoid now. How do yeah. you fucking tuck a string back into like where your vagina is? I, inconspicuously I, mean, I had to do it one time at the beach and i'm so paranoid about that shit i was like i did it with char at the beach and i'm like you can't do anything except just a fucking dig in there and uh-huh. shove it in like it's yep. not it's like cover me it's not <laughs> subtle at all it's fucking no. not i love when um <laughs> guys just have to talk about anything relative related. to a period because i remember when um i was hooking up with my ex last summer i think like i told him that like hey i'm on my period just like fii and he <laughs> Because I was like, basically I had to bring it up because I didn't think I brought enough tampons to spend the night. And he was like, do you need me to go get, um, like, <laughs> and like, it's like that moment like of silence and I go, a tampon? <laughs> I was like, no, I'll pick it up, bitch. I don't think you'd even know where to go to get one. Oh, that's He'd funny. be like, oh yeah, there's like a female store, right? Oh, With all God. your female store? Shit. Oh my God. He'd like go to fucking Ulta and be like, you got tampons. <laughs> My ex had two older sisters, so he was like, it's so fucking, like, he was like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, my main ex had sisters really close to him growing up, so he didn't care. Like, he was super yeah. open about it. My more recent ex, he has two sisters, but they're both much older than him. So you yeah. can tell he, like, didn't, he didn't, like, live in it. He didn't experience, like, watching women or, like, people have periods. Yeah. And he... He was like, he didn't know how to talk about it. But even my dad, like, he's had to learn how to talk about it. And you Mm -hmm. can still tell if he, like, asks, oh, do you need me to pick up tampons from Walgreens? He will, like, you can see him thinking about how to not make it weird and how to, like, (laughs) confidently say to his, like, young adult daughter, yeah, do you need me to get you tampons? And I'm like, you've come so far, Frank. (laughs) I'm so proud of you. My current boyfriend, he only has brothers, but he's actually... In the beginning, there was definitely, like, st- stuff that he didn't know. Yeah. Like, you could just tell that he was just a little bit, like, you just didn't know stuff. But he's never been, like, weird about it, yeah. which I've always appreciated. Uh, I love when they're weird about it, though, because <laughs> you can fucking play mind games. Oh, my God. Oh, when I was in high school, we were on this mission trip, and there was, 
like our guy friend who was older than us like me and my friend were both on our periods so we were like we didn't have pockets and we were like can you hold our tampons for us Mm -hmm. and he like didn't know he couldn't say the word tampon even though he had a sister (laughs) so he just called kept calling them like tarpon sandwiches and like making that joke i don't know and then but he got so so uncomfortable when we were like but can you put them in your pocket and he was like uh, uh, um, uh, 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 and I was like, bro, it's like a fucking piece of cotton. Like, you're not going to get your period from putting this in your pants pocket. I do have to say, though, there is one thing that comes good out of a period. Because I don't think anything good comes out of it, in my opinion. Well, it means you're not pregnant. Not which pregnant. Is not pregnant, yes. Okay, book. other than that. But when you're like meeting a guy or like starting just starting to hook up with a guy and like mm-hmm. maybe you're not feeling it maybe you just want to fucking go home and sleep in your own goddamn a good bed. excuse you I could literally it. be like oh, i'm sorry i'm on my period or if you just like he starts uh-huh. like the process uh-huh. down there and you're just not feeling it but, oh, i'm oh, sorry i gotta go i gotta go home, unless they're know? like i don't care it's just fun <laughs> and yeah then that's the worst and they're like do. oh i don't care right. um bitch i do Get the fuck don't off question of me. it yeah oh well actually when Shar was visiting me um, in Florida and my most recent ex came, he, that morning, he was driving back up to Tallahassee. It was like Sunday morning we were leaving and he was like, come like have sex with me in my car in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, I was like, well, I'm on my period. So that's like not going to happen. And I was like barely, on, I was not really on my period. It was right. like the last day. But I was just like, I knew I couldn't leave my family like charlotte with my parents to like go have sex with him in his car and then come back so i was like yeah i'm on my period but like we could get (laughs) breakfast (laughs) oh my god that's funny it wouldn't be a smooth transition no No, not at all just sitting there (laughs) it's like where's em um (laughs) she's you know on on a walk on a walk she went for a walk all right do you guys have any like super weird period cravings um no Wait, no, give it a second. I could probably hit you with one. Gummy bears. A gummy bears. Gummy bears. Interesting. I love me a gummy bear. A gummy Same. bears. Give me some gummy bears. Both. And um, you know, I really lean towards like soups and stuff. Weird. Soups. Mm. Yeah. Are you a grandmother? You gonna drink some <laughs> No, beer? okay. So the reason is is because when I'm on my period I feel like anyone's like this when they're on their period. You overthink everything just a little bit. So when it comes to food, I'm like, bitch, I know I want to eat like four to six meals a day. Yeah. But then my subconscious is like, yeah, but like, you got to stay healthy, homie. So like, I just fucking soup. Oh, no. I'm like food. All the food. Oh, yeah. All the time. I don't care that I ate 30 minutes ago. Well, you're like the fucking snack whore up here with like your bins of snacks that that you hoard. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I I go for fast and? food. <laughs> Do you have a problem? I go. Oh for my like god, I eat fast food. Fast so foods much. like a cheeseburger or some mozzarella sticks, and I always love ice cream. But it's like that is my. Uh, no one will ever make me feel guilty about eating an entire pint in one sitting, especially on you my period. You do it, period or yeah. no period. I know, but I'm saying no one can judge me, especially on my period. Like I won't let anyone ever make me feel bad for that. Good, thank you. Good as you should. Good, good. Yeah. Hardy har. Hardy har. Har har. Har um, So I didn't really know how to fit this in, but I have a very funny story from high school and I needed to share it. Okay. So our friend. Oh my God. So <laughs> I was in. So I was in <laughs> nutrition class. Oh, I for, hold on. I forgot okay. about this fucking shit. I okay, know. Start Charlotte's going to flip. You're going to lose. So I was in ninth grade in nutrition class and um, our friend was like asked the teacher if she could go to the bathroom and our teacher hated us because we were a bunch of hooligans and she was like no and my friend was my friend said it's it's an emergency can i please go to the bathroom the teacher was like absolutely not so she reaches on between her legs pulls out her tampon in class walks right up to the front of the classroom makes eye contact with our teacher and drops it in the trash can at the front of the class and we lost our shit I was like, this is Good the fattest bitch her. I've ever met. She, to bitch. this day, is still the baddest bitch. But, besides Elena. But, like, <laughs> this bitch is crazy. And I was like... I wasn't after her. she took it out, wasn't she like, can I go yes, to the she, bathroom oh, yeah, and then now? She goes, and then she raised her hand. She goes, can I go to the bathroom, please? And our teacher was in such shock. She was like, 
okay. <laughs> and then she yeah. came back and was like, Meh. I'm a bad bitch, but I will never be that, is, that bad of a bitch. I was in such <laughs> shock. I had never, and oh, I had never. Especially in like ninth grade. Yeah. She like, can no you fear. imagine doing shit like that in ninth grade? No fear. No, not and just being grade. like, I'm going to show my fucking bloody tampon to everyone in this classroom. She's amazing. She, Shout she out. amazes me. Um, do you guys have any ridiculous period stories? No. That's the only one that I know of, and I had forgotten <laughs> about it, so thank you for reminding me. Gladly. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, all of my, like, funny period stories that I know of are mostly with, like, high school girls needing to go to the bathroom and male teachers specifically. Ugh. Like, one of our choir teachers, I remember one of my <laughs> friends would not. She was. It was the same thing. She was like, can I please? Oh, no, this I is what it was. I remember that. She asked to go to the bathroom. He was like, yes, sure, make it quick, whatever. So she first goes to her backpack, which is not in the direction of the bathroom, to get a tampon. And he was like, what are you doing? Like, why are you going to your backpack? And she just pulls out the tampon from her backpack. And she's like, I needed a tampon. And he was and the look on his boy. face. Yeah, he was like fresh out of college, like innocent <laughs> choir teacher. Ugh, and the look that. that came over his face was like, oh, Oh, like I fucked, I fucked up. up. So em- yeah, he was like so embarrassed, and it was so funny. Oh, I remember my friend's friend. Like they went to school together, came to school, had just put her tampon in, and in the middle of the day was like, "Why am I still bleeding? Like I don't understand. Why isn't my tampon plugging me up?" So she called her mom. She was like, "Mom, like I don't understand what's happening," and she had put the tampon up her butt. Oh my gosh. I was like, that's so uncomfortable. Also, that's how, what? I don't know. (laughs) But yeah, those are all the um, crazy period stories I have. Incredible. Yeah. And that is the end of my my segment. Woo! Woo! It's game time. (laughs) Dun 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 dun. I know the snaps don't line up on your end, but they do on my end. So just make sure that audio is edited. So they line oh, up. right. Ladies and gents, we're back to game night with Charlotte. <laughs> this week it is period trivia. I love trivia. Do we get a prize if we get the most right? Yeah, dick. Are we on the same team or are we against each other? <sighs> Goodbye. All right, first question, ladies. There are four option choices. Please wait for me to read all of them. How much menstrual blood does a woman lose each month? Okay. Less than one tablespoon, one to four tablespoons, four to five tablespoons, or eight to six tablespoons? Eight to six? Eight to six, for (laughs) sure. The correct answer is one to four. Really? Really? Correct. You also yes. said eight to six. I think you meant six to eight. No, no, no. I said eight to sixteen. No, you said eight to six. You said eight to six. A hundred percent. That's why I said it was eight, eight to six because I thought you 16. meant six to eight. Oh. Okay. No. So then no, I would have guessed sense. four to five, but I still would have been wrong. You so yeah, you still would have been wrong. Interesting. It's a lot less than I thought. <clears throat> what is menarca? Menarca. Spell I, that. Can you? I was going to say. No, no, no. Spell I, have, I have options. <laughs> I have options. All right. The name of the uterine lining shed. I'm pretty sure they meant shield during menstruation. No, they no, meant shed. shed. You shed really? your uterine lining during That's menstruation. That's literally what your period is. Oh, okay. Because well, your uh, uterus puts up all the lining in order to have a baby and like make a placenta and shit. Okay. Yeah, and it starts preparing and then you don't fertilize the egg and then it gets really mad and then it rips rips down all the wallpaper really angrily okay now that we've had health class the next (laughs) option clearly you need it oh yeah the period of natural sensation of a woman's menstrual period that often occurs sometime after age 45 a woman's first menstrual period a small hut used in many societies in which menstruating women reside until the end of their period oh my god i would love i'm gonna choose option a i'm gonna choose option d (laughs) the hut you are both incorrect it is a woman's first menstrual period the monarcha is the first m-e-n-a-r-c-h-e that's i don't think it's monarcha monarch 
No. Here, I'm going I'm to look up how to pronounce that. Yeah, that's how I would have said yeah, it. Yeah, Monarcha. I just... Or just Monarch. I Monarch don't know. I in the East something Island. Close, but... Menarch. She said Menarch. <laughs> Menarch. I don't okay, think so that's correct either. Silence. But okay. Silence. Silence. Menarch. All right. <laughs> Menarch shit. <laughs> so you guys are zero for two. You're doing great. We're doing great. <laughs> what is the average age at with at which menstruation begins in North America for a woman? Are you going to give us options? Average. Sorry, yes. Okay. Uh, 10.8 years of age. 12.5 years of age. 13.12. Uh, <laughs> 13.12, so 14. 13.2. No, 13.12 is a number. You know, you know what I mean, though. 14.8 or 15.5. I'm going to say 13.12. I'm going to say 12.5. It is indeed 12.5. Yes. Let's okay. go. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Approximately how many periods will the average woman have in her life? Oh, 250, my God. 150, 480, 760, or 1340? 1340. I'm just taking a guess. I'm not doing Emily, math. you can't do fucking math. 480. 480. Yeah, it's 480, but Emily cheated. She no, cheated. I didn't. I knew if the average woman has her period for 40 years, and if you have your period once a month, that's 12 periods a year for 40 years. It's 480 yeah, you, periods. You cheated. You, you did, did the math. No, it's not. Math isn't <laughs> cheating. Math is fucking deduction. All right, all right. So we're tied. We're doing great. We're so good at this. Women who take birth control pills are usually affected in which way? Their periods cease altogether. They have more intense menstrual cramps. They have heavier menstrual periods or they have lighter periods. The last um, one. B or D. Sorry, lighter periods. Lighter periods. Correct. Woo! All right. How long can you keep a tampon in? Four hours, six hours, eight hours, or ten hours? Okay, eight. this is really, they, they say not to do over eight. Yes, that's what but I'm going that, off of. Okay, well then eight. It is indeed eight. Okay. Because I was going to say how long, what is the maximum length you can keep it in? I think that's right. the question. Okay. You don't want to know the maximum length I've kept my tampon that's in. That's how you get toxic shock syndrome, Charlotte. And then the last one is a free response. <laughs> <laughs> An FRQ. I fucking love, this is like the FCAT. Give it to me. <laughs> All right. So I looked up actually the most popular foods that p- women <gasps> eat okay. on their period and okay. i wanted to ask you guys and see if you were in any of the categories that they listed okay i'm ready. okay so if you think of the number one food that you crave on your period tell me what it is and chocolate I'll tell you if you're in chocolate it, it was pizza. pizza 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 was the number one food that women crave on That's their period weird. i do love pizza but it like was pizza all the time. hamburgers um and i think fries it was like all Shit. of the French fucking fries it's more savory food. than sweet well, I would assume. I just assumed that that's what everyone picked. Like, it, chocolate's not my number one, but I just assumed like, oh, I see what that you're everyone saying. would pick chocolate. But I think the first thing that came to my mind was ice cream. No, mine's chocolate straight up. Like, I'm not kidding. I could eat an entire tray of brownies. I can't. I cannot do chocolate. I think I would throw up. Yeah, mine's like definitely greasy food and like a pint of ice cream. Earlier today, Charlotte was eating ice cream, and she goes, I wish I could eat ice cream like Emily does. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> What's yours? Yeah, sure. Um, Mac and cheese. You say mac and cheese? Mm-hmm. Incredible. Like, literally any time of the day, I would eat mac and cheese. Okay. At the end of the day, I'd take dick over anything. <laughs> Yeah, okay, but you don't even like both. period sex, so shut the fuck up. That's a lie. Yeah, but, like, you can do other things than sex. What? That's, like, more personal than having period sex. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> fucking. All right, let's All right, wrap Dana. this shit up. Let's fucking do it. With a nice condom called closing out. What? what? I have no idea. <laughs> I need to go to bed. <laughs> Please let me go to bed. All right. I know. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for listening. You can find us on Instagram at Babes and Bad Decisions and on Twitter at B A B D Podcast. Email us at Babes and Bad Decisions at gmail.com. And you can now also find all of our episodes and videos on our YouTube channel. Just search Babes and Bad Decisions Podcast. If you like us and want to support us, please take the time to rate and review us on Apple Podcasts and check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash Babes and Bad Decisions. All right, Em, what's our outro for today? sex on your period do it
much better than you think. <laughs> it is much better than you think. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for listening. Bye. Bye.